So hey guys, what's up? This is Shared Talking. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about Battle with Our Minds Showdown with Rio Queen. This is a part of the past event that is Battle with Our Minds Extermination. Termites. Yeah, this is when we only face the termites. Now we face the Rio Queen, and it's a very interesting thing because we don't need to face the older stages. We can just focus on the last one. That is, if you are strong enough, we can just clear stage number 12. And this one here can be a little of a trouble if you're not bringing a full nuke stop. Uh, we can go here on any info, you can see that there are two different Terminators. One of them will be killed right from the start of the fight. Yeah, the Termite Queen wants to eat one of them. <laughs> she gets stronger by doing that, so uh, that's also something different here. She is not weak to blunt and cold like they were. So you have a little of a less options here to attack the real queen. But we still made some strategies that can be very fast for those that can make them. Uh, using some of the recent characters we have uh, the first one, let's discuss this first one. Um, before we discuss it, let's talk about the rewards. Actually the rewards are pretty interesting. The newest freestyle that is farmable is this one here, call it Orive. And we could only get some of her pieces in the past part of the event. Now we can get the remaining ones because it drops here. And if you get many, you can just sell the existing um, SS pieces to exchange for white crystals, getting more blank gold pieces. That's pretty good. We also get some of the silver pieces and bronze pieces for those that need them. Uh, we also get the currency for the other event that there might shoot. That is if you still need those. But we need to focus on bringing characters that can attack with both Pierce or Shadow. We do have some options, so I don't have all of them. Uh, but then if you don't have, you can also bring Slash. It should not make that much of a difference. Well, the first one is the best setup I could make. This one can clear it in one turn, but you don't need to think too much about being fast here. I'm showing fast strategies for those that are kind of hardcore. Uh, and those that are not, that you can just remove one character and place on one that can heal. And this one here we have Therese in the front. Why? Because she's well too fast, they want her to go before Rofus. She has Heart Secret plus Naxit. Then we have the Bright Emilia, if you have the newest version of Emilia it's better. But Commando Emilia do not work because uh, she cannot use Sweet Trap on turn 1. And it's a Pierce attack. If you don't have Emilia, you can use someone else. You can even use the newest version of Monica that has... Um, the third skill that's a pretty powerful nuke. Uh, we have Red here in this position because he does not lose agility. He has very high agility. Mine even has 8 point plus. So that he uses Punishing Combo to kill the remaining Termite in the boss. Then we have Rofus. He uses Gun and Blade. That's pretty strong. He kills the Termite if needs. And he attacks the boss. In the back we have Joe because Joe can increase the damage of everyone because of Showtime. And she also helps deal damage to the first termite. I'm using Rock Bouquet Staff because it is water element. It also increases her damage with Sorbet Flambe. She's the only one using a full HP stone. Not the only one, I think Red is also using one. The other ones are just using standard weapon stones. Yeah, let's go with the setup here, you guys will see. Okay, so as you can see, we have the Queen and two small termites. She would choose one of them to eat. And she gets a buff to her status when she does that. And you can even use the fastest character available. You cannot uh, avoid this to happen. In this time, Rofus uses this attack. It really doesn't matter much because Rad can follow up and using key the last few times. It's pretty hard for this to happen because usually Rad is faster than Rofus. Yes. If this happens, there is just a small amount of HP left. So that's good enough because Red will just finish by using Hummingbird. Yes. Let's do it again. Well, I hope this time Red goes first because he, he needs, he has a higher agility and even using equipment that increases even more. If you don't have Joe, you can also use Mac. But Joe increases the damage of everyone, so that's a little better. Stop, I can finish in one turn. Termite Queen do not even attack me. So let me just say something else again. Don't need to clear any of the other stages, you just need to focus on stage number 12 because you don't get 
uh, anything for first time rewards. So you don't get gems. So stick to the stages better because it has better drops. Let's talk about the second strategy. Okay, so this strategy is not that fast, but it's, well, pretty reliable as well. If you summon it for a mech, you probably have Therese. Then you can use Therese here, and you can also just focus on using Heartseeker. Well, uh, we will just be using Red here as well, but Red will do a little more damage because he's on a GD position. Mac will attack with his uh, Sacred Treasure, Legendary Treasure, on the first turn. And then we will have some nukes with Therese. Uh, if you don't have Therese, you can use our Cloud Jesus fight. Uh, Princess Ray, she just uses Green Reaper on the first turn, and Jackal on the second one, it should be good enough. And in the front, I'm using Annie, but it can be Teacher Cordelia, it can be Perfector Asylus, it can be um, Hannibal, it can also be... Um, what's the name of him again? Ferdinand. Yeah, I was forgetting about his name. So let's go and see. Also, you don't need to bring Ray, you can also bring Battle of Fate Rouge. And using his second skill with 6 VP, it should be good enough. I'm just showing that if you don't have Rouge, you can use Ray just fine as well. Got a combo here. <laughs> uh, a combo is not exactly needed, okay? Uh, but this is not a one turn strategy. If it's a one turn strategy now, it was because of a combo. It usually is not. Yeah. That's good enough, and then if the boss doesn't die on one turn, we'll be dead on the second turn for sure. In this another strategy, he uses uh, Rouge as my mage. Rainbow Rangers formation. I have Rufus here in the next position, just normal. Rouge has his skill called Dark Bringer with 6 PP and Raging Gust on 11. Then we have Amy, and she needs to inherit Flash Triple Trust. We'll do that before we leave. And Boston, yeah, just use him for piercing and rampaging Caesar on turn 2. It will kill it as soon as we get to turn 2. And there we have Joe because she can use Sorbet Flop Bay and also increase the output damage of everyone. Everyone should have Joe by now, right? You do, right? <laughs> I hope you do. And Amy uh, can also be replaced by Matriarch. They also do Pierce damage just fine. You can replace Boston with Red. Amy, um, it's good enough. You can also use Perfector Ocelos. If you don't have Boston, you can use your Liza, but Liza doesn't have slash damage, so there's a small difference between the two, and well, I don't think it matters too much. So Rouge, he's better than Princess Ray, in my opinion, for this. Let's go with this one. Okay, so this is uh, better if you bring someone that can do better nukes than Amy. Well, it's just that some people may not have way better attackers for STR that you pierce. So for Blitz and Bay, we have things here now. Gonna Blade first hit. Second hit goes for the real killing. Flash Ripple Trust. And Dark Bringer. As you can see, the damage output is not as high as the other strategies since we don't have Red here. Then on the second wave, we will have Boston Luke attack. Ranging Scissors. Power Trust. Flash and Dark Bringer. Not the best one, but it works. You can replace some of the styles with some other mages or uh, attackers that you have available. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have, and if you want to support the channel, we have the links here in the description of the video. We see each other on the next one. Bye.